Welcome back to Nintendo Academy. I am Mike Perez. So let's talk Nintendo Switch Pro and a possible patent I might have found for the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. <laughs> If we are just meeting, I am Mike Perez, and here at Nintendo Academy, we cover everything Nintendo. We talk about everything Nintendo. So if you love Nintendo, please consider subscribing, clicking that bell so you don't miss another Nintendo Academy video. Okay, so I just wanted to make this discussion video just to go ahead and talk it out with you guys to see what you guys think about uh, what I found in the patent by Nintendo that was basically given to them in February or March of this year uh, in regards to a Switch controller. So uh, this Switch controller is, is a little different from the one we have. Let me speak a little more about that later. Let's talk about the Nintendo Switch Pro. Let's have a discussion about this. Okay, so there's been a lot of talk about Nintendo Switch Pro games that are coming exclusively for the Nintendo Switch Pro. And I'm not sure how I feel about that uh, rumor per se because that's never been Nintendo. Nintendo has always referred to the Switch as a Switch family and I doubt that they might allow developers to just Put a game only on one of the Switch and leave the rest of the Nintendo Switches out, which would not be too fair to every player who doesn't really care about 4K resolution or higher specs. They enjoy their current Nintendo Switch Lite and Nintendo Switch, so I highly doubt that they will be an exclusive game for this Nintendo Switch Pro. There are some guidelines that Nintendo developers need to follow when submitting a game and having the game be compatible with all Nintendo Switches, the Nintendo Switch family is one of them. Nintendo is not going to allow uh, a developer to develop exclusively for the Nintendo Switch Lite, Nintendo Switch, or Nintendo Switch Pro. And that's how it's always been. If you search Google how to become a Nintendo developer or sign up as a Nintendo developer, you will probably see the guidelines and what they require of you as a developer if you make games and want to publish on their platforms. That's the one reason I believe that the Nintendo Switch Pro will not have exclusive games. Now, on the other hand, will these games look different on the Nintendo Switch Pro than they do on the regular Nintendo Switch or the Switch Lite? And the answer is yes. Nintendo Switch developers can take this game at the intended full quality on the Nintendo Switch Pro. You'll be able to see Breath of the Wild and Breath of the Wild 2 in 4K and have a different experience than playing Breath of the Wild on the previous consoles. That's what I believe you gain when you get the Nintendo Switch Pro. You gain the the quality you probably gain uh the the experience you can run 4k at 60 frames per second and for those of you who care about the 4k 60 frames per second thing in the nintendo world which i doubt it's a lot of people people just want to enjoy games i mean look at breath of the wild on the regular switch look how beautiful it looks uh, look at the nintendo mario games how amazing they look mario odyssey it the, this game looks super amazing on the big screen even if you don't have a 4k television or even if you don't have a 4k switch they look amazing and to me nintendo has never been that type of console where they're trying to catch up with anybody nintendo has always been their own console their own company they don't look to the sides they look forward and they look for the experience in you the consumer not the quality of the console when it comes to the resolution and the specs. They care about your experience. I mean, take a look at the Nintendo consoles as a whole. From the NES all the way to the Nintendo Switch, look at the controllers. They have all changed in one way or another. That tells you that Nintendo is always looking to innovate when it comes to the gaming experience rather than just the resolution right now believe it or not i feel like we have reached a resolution that everybody can be happy with and i think that it's time to follow nintendo's lead and start creating better experiences when it comes to nintendo switch or any other console so do you agree with this statement uh, when it comes to Nintendo and the Nintendo experience? Leave it down below in the comments. I was looking through the, this patent um, 
PTO place thing. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was bored when I was looking through this patent PTO website.gov. Uh, and I was just curious to see what I could find there. I found a lot of Apple patents. I found a lot of uh, Microsoft patents. I found a whole bunch of patents from different companies and I was intrigued. So when I saw that Nintendo was granted a patent on March 2, Nintendo was granted a patent this very same month for a Nintendo controller, a pro controller or a, a Joy-Con controller. Now this controller looks very different from the Joy-Con. I mean, it looks like the same shape, but it's very differently designed when it comes to where their buttons are. This is the current controller we have right now. And let's go take a look and compare this controller to the one in a patent uh, so that you can understand what I'm talking about and why this new controller might be taking care of a lot of issues like the drift problem, maybe the, the controller mapping and, and other things as well. So let's take a look at this patent here. Now I, I found this patent here and it says it's the United States design patent, uh, March 2nd, 2021. This is the date that it was provided. You can see here, applicant, a Nintendo Co. LTD, uh, Kyoto, Japan. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Um, yeah, you can see here that this is a Nintendo Switch controller. This is the design of it. It looks very different from this one right here. You can see this one has two buttons over here. Then the joystick, the Joy-Con here, the joystick here is, it feels like it's more, it's closer, it's closer to the actual controller. It, this Joy-Con here is very high up. There's a lot of space between the actual top of the Joy-Con to the Joy-Con itself. Uh, and then the one, then the one that we are looking at here in the patent is very different. It's very close to the actual controller. So this might be, uh, this might be a solution to the Joy-Con drift that Nintendo's been having for a while. Uh, we have a D-pad on this one. Uh, if you can see here, this is the right Joy-Con and this is the left Joy-Con. Um, there is no D-pad on any of them. We only have these sticks right here and on each side, the joysticks here. And then we have uh, these little things that we have to use as D-pads sometimes. But this one has a D-pad. I wonder if this is just an alternate one, uh, a different Joy-Con that Nintendo is planning on releasing uh, separate to these or maybe it could be associated to the Nintendo Switch Pro. Could be the ones that come with the Nintendo Switch Pro. I'm not saying they are, it's speculation. It's just, again, discussion video. This is very interesting to me that this is a different model. Two buttons here. Another part that I saw that was a bit different was the ZR uh, and ZL buttons on top. Uh, this one right here is just clickable, but that one on the patent looks more like a trigger button which could be used in, in first shooter games or even play Mario Kart when you hit the gas, you probably can feel it better. Just like this Xbox controller here that has more of a trigger feel than just a button, maybe Nintendo is working on something like that to better the experience. Another thing I wanted to talk about related to the Nintendo Switch Pro is I feel like Nintendo is not looking to add an extra console to the lineup, but I feel like they're, what they're gonna do is refresh the current Nintendo Switch console with the Switch Pro specs and leave it at the same price at $299. We had a refresh recently, not recently, about a year ago, two years ago, where they extended the battery life on the Nintendo Switch, right? So I feel like what's coming next is just another refresh to extend the life of the Nintendo Switch console as a whole. Now, what I believe is that this is mainly for the Nintendo Switch because it's the one that you dock and you can get that 4K resolution. I'm not sure if Nintendo will add a third Nintendo Switch to the lineup. I feel more like it's gonna be uh, another refresh and it'll stay at the 299. The Nintendo Switch is that next generation console for Nintendo. And there are statements from Nintendo that they actually wish that they could have extended that Wii U uh, lifespan. So that's what I feel is going to happen. Nintendo is not releasing a third Switch. It's going to refresh the current Switch with that Nintendo Switch Pro uh, specs. 
What do you guys think about that one? Let me know below in the comments and let's have this discussion, okay? Uh, let me know what exactly what you think. And if you like having this type of discussions, give me that thumbs up on this video. We will have more discussion uh, videos just to talk about certain things, whether you agree, disagree, let's just have a chat. Let's just talk about it. And then we can all just, you know, enjoy each other's perspective on what Nintendo might do. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I am Mike Perez with Nintendo Academy. Yeah.